So here we have Cole, and we are out here working on his sit and down. So he's just doing a sit, now we're doing a down. Good boy. Good job. Taking that treat, holding it right above his hip on six. Take those feet to be on the ground. Good boy. And then down, I'm going to take that treat and put it right by his front feet. Good down. Good boy. Good job. Lots of praise. Good boy. He is an awesome puppy. He's very outgoing. Sit. Good boy. Down. Good job. Waiting for his body to be nice, flat, and relaxed during those downs. So this way he understands that the structure can, and he doesn't pop right back up. And this will help for his training down the road. So sit. Wait for those feet to be on the floor. Sit. Good boy. Doesn't get the tree until those paws are on the ground. And because I don't want to teach him that bad, he's okay. Hi. Oh, yes. He's a very affectionate puppy and he loves praise as well as treats. So, utilizing both throughout his training. Down. Now sit down from a stand. Just the same thing. Only difference is I didn't put him into a sit first. Don't drag me. Hi. Hello. She loves to drag me. <laughs> Does she? Run. Well, you guys stay here, Cole. Ow. You guys stay here. Why did you turn your back? <laughs> so, as you see, he had. Definitely was excited to greet the pup. He didn't know what to expect, but he did really good with that. So sit, on that treat above his head. We work with a lot of distractions around here, which is really great, because if he can do it in a distraction environment, it makes it much easier down the road in a less distracting environment. So good boy, good job. Good job. That's also part of desensitizing, having all these other dogs walking around and things like that um, really helps so that he understands like when something else happens if we're in a public setting it's no different so love distractions and working on desensitizing so taking that treat holy above his head down sit good boy wait for that paw to be on the ground there we go and then we'll do it down good job good boy Cole. so we always end all of our training on strong notes so we're going to be loading our do it down first and then we're going to end on a sit, which will be his strongest command. Sit. Good boy. Down the road, sit. Wait for that foot to be on the ground. There we go. Um, down the road, sit's going to correspond with this hand gesture, and down will correspond with this hand gesture. But for now, we're just utilizing that lure phase, which just means I take the treat, I entice him into that position, and he starts to learn that that word associates with that position. So I'm going to call him back. So just hi to everyone. So we're gonna sit here for a few minutes while I just give him some praise. Um, this way he ended on a good note with his commands, as well as with lots of praise and affection. And this way he'll look forward to training next time. So we always keep it positive here. And this way our puppies want to work. So yeah, he's doing really great with his sits and downs. Good job, Cole. Good boy. Good job. He's so excited. 